When using a computer, geographic data comes in one of two formats, either raster or vector data. The best way to describe raster data is to think of it as a picture or digital photograph that is made up of pixels. When you open a digital photo on a screen, it looks OK. However, as you zoom in, the pixels get bigger and the image more blurred and less usable. This is the same with raster map data. With vector data, the best way to think of it is like an architect's drawing or house plan that has been created in a drawing software package. It is made up of points, lines, polygons and text, which can be moved or edited. When you open a vector drawing, it looks good on the screen, and when you zoom in, it still looks OK. The lines do not get thicker or blurred, the data is still usable no matter how far you zoom in. This is the same with vector map data. A good way to show this is to compare a raster and vector dataset side by side and zoom in on them to see how they look. As you can see, the raster data on the right starts out looking more pleasing to the eye but quickly becomes unusable as it pixelates. The vector data on the left looks OK all the way through, you can just see less and less of it. The most important thing about these two data formats are what you can do with them. Raster data could be considered to be unintelligent. There is very little you can change about it unless you have a photo editing package. If you do, you are limited to doing things like making the image grayscale, adding a tint or making it negative. You can't remove features from the map or edit them. Basically, it is a very good backdrop or context map. Vector data can be seen as more intelligent. The points, lines, polygons and text all have attributes that mean you can select all of the buildings and make them blue, or all of the roads and make them patterned, or whatever you think is best for what you want to show. It also means that you can switch features off if the map is looking cluttered, so if you do not want any text, it can be switched off. These attributes also mean that you can link your information to the map, so if you have information like opening times, phone numbers and so on about a village hall or an attraction, you can add it to the vector feature on the map making the map more informative. To find out more, please visit our website.